do. We're prepared. We're prepared. <laughs> We're doing great this morning. Hello, 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 everyone. Hope you all are having a fantastic Tuesday. It is um, Christmas in July week, which I am super excited to be here with you guys to make some really, really, really awesome projects. It's going to be so much fun, and I cannot wait to share with you how to make all these amazing projects. And since yesterday, my personal favorite was these adorable ornaments. I was like, you know what? We need to just kick off Christmas in July week making these flawless ornaments. Why so not? That, so that we're able to have fun. Yeah. We're here a little bit early today, guys, because as you all know, Blake has been the best summer intern ever. Um, so much fun. And he's heading back to school soon. And since Blake's like one of my really good friends, I feel really bad that we haven't got to do any fun adventures. Um, so today, this afternoon, we're gonna do a fun adventure before I have um, responsibility in the evening and he has to work his other job. So anywho, we're here a little bit early. Rachel's just working away. And I see lots of people saying, what's up? Oh yeah, they're saying so, good morning. Good Hello morning. from Pittsburgh. Court says hi. Hi, hi Court. Um, guys, we are having such a great morning here. Lots of goodness. Um, I'm able to check in and everything. Um, so I'm super excited. If you guys did not get to watch yesterday's video, please head over and watch that after the live stream. This is what we're making today. So we're making these adorable embroidery hoop letterboard ornaments. Like, hello, who does not want to make one of these um, for, you know, the holiday season? And this would be a great product for you guys to be making to sell. So if this is something you want to do a set, highly, highly, highly recommend doing that. Um, so you're able to have a little bit of fun making them, but also being able to sell these. So hello everyone, good morning. I'm so excited to be back with you getting crafty. It has been a hot minute. Um, just to let you all know supplies, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need the, the good old ribbon. You're gonna need an embroidery hoop or two. These are four inch embroidery hoops. Four inch embroidery hoops, mm -hmm. you've got it. So you'll need these right here. Um, you're gonna need a pair of scissors. I saw someone post in the Makers Gonna Learn Facebook group um, what kind of scissors Tanner was using. Guys, these are Tonic Studios Tim Holtz scissors. Um, they're amazing. They're matte black. Who does not love that? Um, it's like one of the manliest things in the studio, so I'm going to use them with pride. Um, and then you've got this corduroy fabric. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wish you could tell how cool it is on camera. Um, I'm actually loving this material. I've never really used it, but it gives the look of a little bit of a letterboard. So it gives the little lines, which are really, really cool and really awesome. <gasps> I see Gloria from East Los Angeles. Hello, Gloria. Um, but yes, so lots of fun. And this is the fabric, but we're also using a font that we have called Towering Teddy. So that's the font we're using here. You can again use this with any way you want, but guess what guys, you have to be a yearly member to get access to all of our beautiful, beautiful fonts. So take advantage of that, grab your membership today so that you're able to go yearly um, if you're monthly upgrade today. So you get the Towering Teddy font and 160 other amazing fonts, but you also get to save $48 per year compared to being a monthly member. And you get way more. Uh, way more. Way the commercial more. license to sell what you make, um, to have the ability to make these as sets and sell them um, with our artwork. And then you also get the three e-courses. So it's an amazing deal. So be sure to join if you are brand new here. Our membership is makersgonnalearn.com slash join. And you can see all the reasons why you need a membership if you're a die cutting enthusiast. So it's a pretty easy project today. Um, it's a lot of fun. I, I told Rachel, this is literally something I feel like I would buy at Crate and Barrel, and I truly believe that. I would definitely buy a set of these. I would probably just buy the single one too. Courtney's um, loving the ribbon too, Tanner. The ribbon. Well, Rachel's going to teach me how to make a bow today because last year, Court taught Rachel how to make a bow. Court taught all of us. It was Court in a live stream, and I reference the live stream <laughs> when I forget, and then I know how to make a bow. And guys, it is so stinky. Rachel, easy. what was I doing during the live stream? Just you standing were, there? You literally, right before she makes it, you're like, yes, Court, please, let's all get trained. Just make a bow. So Court just whips I in cannot and just make, if, if we have a, t a bow tying competition this year, which could be great content, um, <laughs> don't it. expect much from me, guys, because I 
am just so busy educating on the cricket to learn how to make a bow. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so it's going to be a really fun project. Cannot wait to make it with you guys. So let's go ahead and head over to Design Space. But before we do, Rachel, what is everyone saying in the comments? Um, thanks to everyone for tuning in such early morning. Everyone is saying hello. They, uh, let me see, Christina loves the new hey, files. Christina. Uh, Tanya says, what size is the hoop? It is four inches, four I'm pretty Four inches. Sure. That's a great, and honestly, guys, like, you can get these all kinds of sizes. You can go large. You could do this same exact project as decor in your kitchen, on the walls in your home um you could do all kinds of things with this same project just scaled with larger ones yeah um so don't feel like you're threatened or anything to just go like one size like this is just inspiration so um i've seen people this is another project idea rachel mm -hmm. um have you seen the embroidery hoop snowman where you oh, take like a I big one and cute. then go size up and then attach them with like wire. Yes. That's a fun project. So I thought about doing this larger, like with a really big one yeah. with big letters, and then putting a pretty Christmas wreath over it and hanging Ooh, it on the door. You I know? love it. And uh, embroidery hoops are a great wreath form. So yeah, they are. Rachel uses them all the time. We love them, and they're going to be super fun. And let us know if you guys are interested in Christmas wreaths. So we don't do a lot of like wreaths, but um, there's a YouTuber that reached out and she's super awesome that wants to collab and I thought she could teach us how to make some wreaths. Um, Rachel's really great with her wreath making and decorating skills, so um, I'm really excited to hone in on that. Yes, um, and this, um, I think, who asked? Somebody asked. Oh, Erica says, what is the hey, name Erica. of the fabric again? The, yeah, what is the name corduroy. of the fabric? It's a corduroy, corduroy. fabric. Um, I'm assuming you can find this. It's like a velvety, it doesn't yeah. feel like felt, so I'm super happy about that. Yeah, I wish it had, I ordered it online because we didn't have any oh. at our Hobby Lobby or our Walmart. I wanted it to be thicker like letterboard, you know, kind of like really you push it not. in there. There are little thin lines, but if you can actually get your oh, hands on the corduroy. When you when you look at it, it makes the difference. So you can do this with, um, you know, regular black fabric if you want. It's not going to give the same look. You honestly, I've seen people... Um, this is gonna sound a little crazy. You can put paper actually in between an embroidery hoop too. Um, and the edges, as long as you do it right and it's not too thick, the edges will look good. And then over on the back, it's where it crinkles. But you can put paper through an embroidery hoop. Just as a workaround, if you guys are looking for that, I know I like to give a lot of workarounds for our members that may not want to have to order something um, and have a lot of, in their stash already. Um, I hope you all are enjoying Amazon prom day and all that the deals. That was yesterday. Um, it's today. It, I think it today? it's technically today, but they started, you know, you know how Black they, Friday starts on Thanksgiving? Yeah, yeah. It's starting to be the same thing with Amazon Is it prom like day. it's the anniversary of prom, so that's what they do, or like what is it? They just need to make some money before Black Friday. Mm, okay, I feel it. I, feel <laughs> um, I understand. And then um, also, Rachel, I don't, I didn't tell you this, the new Cricut tools are available on hsn.com, and guess who already ordered theirs? Tantan? We ordered ours. Oh my gosh! So, yeah, we have some people asking already. Yeah, not on this live, but just yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, as We've they came out. We've already ordered it. Um, I paid like twenty dollars for express shipping, so I don't know like when they're actually shipping. But whenever they ship, we should have ours like ASAP. Yeah. So there you go, there you go. Uh, lots of goodness, but we're really excited for this project. Again, Christmas in July is all week, so get your festivities going. Try to pick a project or two from this week's shows so that you're able to make them and share them with us in the Makers Gonna Learn member-only Facebook group. We love seeing We those. love seeing your projects, so be sure to share those with us in the group. We want to get crafty. You want to get a head start on your holiday crafting. And if you're not already a member, today is a great time to join because there is urgency behind Christmas, and we are setting you guys up for success no matter what Christmas theme you're wanting to do. We are going to be your crafty BFFs from now to Christmas, okay? We are gonna get you taken care of with your gifts. We're gonna do last minute, we're gonna do ornaments, we're gonna have all kinds of fun. Last week, did we do, I think we did at least a whole week of ornaments. Oh yeah, um, I mean, last we, year you mean? Did I say last week? Yeah, last, last, year. last year we did a ton of ornaments. We, we take care of you guys and our members love Christmas. We go all out, um, it's a the best time of the year for um, all of us. It's where we have our anniversary um, on I think like November 27th is when we launched like uh, in 2017 
um, somewhere around in there. But so we have big savings and big deals going on around that time, but we also just have lots of projects. So um, the holiday time is a great time for us. Yeah. But anyway, any questions before we jump into design space? It doesn't look like it. They're all talking amongst themselves <laughs> about the Cricut tools and things like Ooh, that. Yeah, I'm excited. I ordered the bundle, um, so we'll be able to get it. I don't know if I got the perforated one. I realized that this morning, I think it didn't come with it, but I also don't know what I want to do with the perforated one. Um, so I don't know. Um, I, Holly from Cricut Craft Life. Holly is my girl. Um, she's from Alabama, so she has the Southern slang too. Um, and she's just so adorable, but she has the tools. So check out her YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, she's awesome and we love her. She has a great Facebook group. Um, but anywho, she is go have lots of stuff for us and I was able to see some things she did with that Cricut engraving tool. Um, so that's really awesome. So anywho, any questions before we jump into Towering Teddy? Everyone? Looks good. Yay! Well, all right, let's go ahead and give that second camera and I'll zoom in for all of our viewing pleasure. Do, 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 do. Hi, camera. Um, trying to, wow, taking a minute today. Okay, anywho, here we are. We're on the iPad. I love using the iPad to craft. It gives such versatility um, and you kind of feel like you're making the project a little bit better. Um, so again, guys, real quick, if you are thinking about membership today, we have so many different perks for you guys to take advantage of. Um, you can go ahead and get our yearly membership for our best value. You're going to save three months free when you go ahead and say yes to yearly. Only our yearly members get access to fonts. So this project is a um, yearly member only because you have to have access to the fonts. You get a commercial license and then you get three training classes completely free. We teach you how to master the machine. We teach you how to break down design space, and then we build you guys up to make money with your die cutting machine. And these courses right here pretty much make up the price of the year membership just as a bonus. So our whole goal is to give you way more value than you're paying for so that you're always happy um, and you feel like you got a great deal. So right here, you can see the difference between our monthly six month and yearly options. So look at all the different things you get going yearly and you're saving that $48. And you're getting you're getting everything. You're paying the least amount of money for the most mm -hmm. amount of our resources. Yep, so we love that. So anywho, um, what we're gonna do is just share with you guys, under fonts, we are gonna look for Towering Teddy. Do, 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 Towering. And we just go search that. And you'll see right here, we have the font Towering Teddy. And we absolutely love this font and it is a lot of fun. I love, love, love this. You need a lot of great fonts like this. Um, you know, these basic fonts really will help you make out all of your projects. They're great to pair with other fonts. Oh, the scripty fonts, guys. Yes. We have so much. And in our Cricut um, Die Cutting Pro course, this right here, we have lots of tutorials teaching you guys how to co do complementing fonts and things like that. Lots of tips. And a lot of time just stewing over that and talking about it. So we've already downloaded this, I believe. So we're just go ahead over to Cricut Design Space. And if you click on text, we're gonna look under system. We're gonna type in towering and there's towering Teddy. So today I'm going to blow you guys away and not make one, but I'm gonna make two. And I just wanna share with you guys like how easy it is to truly make these. It is, it's so, so easy to you batch can make these, multiple, you know? uh, multiple of these. I think you'd be able to sell these for anywhere from six to eight, nine dollars for one maybe like 15 for a set of three. Um, you know, you could bulk buy your embroidery hoops and then everything else, guys, so inexpensive. We're using a 110 pound cardstock. Like you can use, ooh, hmm. wonder if you, uh, even though the tech, the fabric is a little textured, I bet iron-on would work on this. That would be something cool too. to try. Yeah. Okay, we'll try that sometime. You could try, if you're not gonna use the um, textured fabric, that would be something cool to try. Um, so yeah, either way, look at how little piece of cardstock or um, iron-on that you would need for this project. I mean, it's it's literally, I'm, I'm just gonna measure it. So we have a, oh, Rachel. I know, and that's the way, the one with the actual inches end is the one that has still has it okay. on there, so it's easier. <laughs> I mean, you're using, it like, fell off, this though. is perfect for scraps. Look at this, two inch by like an inch and a half or an inch. So it's such a great little thing to use the scraps with. So I really want to see you guys use this. And you could do 
um, buffalo plaid. You could do red corduroy fabric. You don't have to do exactly what we're doing. Um, give your own spin to it if you would like. Um, but anyway, we're just going to type out um, Noel, just like that. And look, it's, it's adorable. So then you can just size that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and type out Joy. So these are our two. And just for reference, guys, if you all are ever wondering how you can get a visual of whatever your project is, here is what it is. So we know this is a four inch embroidery hoop, right, Rachel? Yeah, you want to measure it to make sure? We, I mean, we can, sure. I just want to make, I, I just didn't want to, I didn't feel too confident with my, with my statement. Um, okay, so we've got four inches to work with here, right? If you ever want to get a visual of your project in Design Space, all you've got to do is click Shapes, take a circle, go under Edit, and we're going to size that to four inches. And then just for the sake, we'll change this up. And I'm just going to do some visualization to help me and you. Um, so we have Noel. And what we need to do is click Arrange and click Send to Back. So once we've sent that to the back, we can move this over here and we truly can size this appropriately. So we want it about two inches wide, just like so. And you can see this is exactly how it'll look like on your project. So that one's good. And then we can go over here to Joy, and we're going to change that to white. And again, this is just a great way when you're making projects. This one's a pretty easy one um, to strategize and kind of do without this. But it also takes two seconds to really see the project come to life in Cricut Design Space, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Um, it kind of helps give you that visualization. And once you're good, you can just delete the, the black circle and click Make It. So we've got this. I'm going to move our Joy and Noel down and over some. And these are some pretty small letters. Like overall, they're small. So we're using 110 pound cardstock, but you just want to be careful with your letters. Um, you do want to be gentle with it. It's a little bit different than using iron on where you never really have to worry about it because you're always on that backer sheet. Um, so that's just like a word of advice if you're not cutting a lot of cardstock. So today is a great project to kind of use the cardstock, get a little um, training with it and whatnot. So yes, are there any questions? It doesn't look like it. Everyone looks to be super, What's super happy. What's everyone talking about? How many crafty friends are hanging out with us today? We have 92 crafty Hello. friends. Yes, Hello. and I do have, I've been trying to think this entire time. I should have wrote it down. I'm biting myself now. Um, I don't remember what setting I put this on because Cricut doesn't have a thick cardstock they have a medium card so stock. usually the medium and with a more pressure, more pressure. is what maybe i maybe that's what i did i know it cut it twice and it was freaking me out okay. and i was like why is this cutting twice but right. maybe that's what it was i'm not sure yeah so we're using the fine point blade and just like our chat yesterday you were able to make this project with your cricut explorer our membership is great with cricut explorer users um any person that has a die cutting machine whether it be a cricut a maker um a silhouette anything like that you're going to be able to take full advantage of the membership. So please take advantage of it. Um, and we're super excited. So I'm just going to load this in right here. Load it in. And we have got a little more pressure. We're using medium cardstock. I'm not using fast mode, just to let you guys know. No fast mode is needed for this. Um, this is going to, you know, you're cutting some tiny, tiny letters. So then we're just going to press that flashing Cricut button and it's go prepare it, detect that tool, and start cutting. So that's super awesome. Really happy about that. And guys, did you all know we have this Cricut printable guide? I saw a comment yesterday and they were like, how up today is this Cricut printable guide? I have not downloaded mine. Um, this is our awesome guide for Cricut. And pretty much everything is always up to date. Um, now that we have the new blade charts, we'll, or the new blades, we'll give more training on that here in the book. But overall, like everything is so relevant and you get this no matter what membership tier you are. So if you're thinking about joining the membership, you know, a lot of people like to start out with monthly and then upgrade to yearly later. That is a few step process. So we recommend just going ahead and saying yes to a year. Um, but if you're kind of on the fence, you know, this is a great monthly membership perk. And for all the value you get 
with both membership tiers, they're either way a no-brainer. Um, the monthly membership, you get over a thousand cut files, um, instant access to, um, and it's so much fun. The printable guide, our Facebook community is such fun. We absolutely love it, um, and it, we just couldn't get over it. So it's cut out right here. Look at this. I'm going to peel away the piece of paper and a tip. So if I was to peel this up right now, it would start curling and I would ruin the sheet of paper. Now this is just a piece of white cardstock. So like we probably have like 800 pieces of this. It's right. not a big deal. Yeah. But let's say this is a piece of paper you want to cherish. All you want to do is kind of lay it flat right here. Oh, it didn't cut through. Didn't think. I, mm. I wasn't sure. I was, mm. Someone said to try the intricate cut setting, but it's not intricate. It's thick. Like it's it a very thick very piece of paper, thick. which I love, which is fine. And um, what setting did you have it on? I had it on medium with extra pressure. So mm. we'll do um, maybe like a mat board or something. Yeah, so. maybe I did light chipboard. Maybe. Um, let me. But it didn't make me put in another blade. Yeah, no worries. Um, okay, so I'm just going to move these down. We're going to press continue. This is fun. This is a great challenge. But the weird part is I cut um, 110 pound cardstock like all the time. So that's the setting I would normally use for it, I think. Anywho, um, yeah. So how is everyone doing in the comments, Rach? She says, well, someone said you can use it, but cut it twice. So maybe if all else fails, we'll just do that again. And just instead of unloading it, we'll just cut it twice. The but, reason oh, why no. I won't put it back in there and cut the exact spot well, is Well, don't because... put it back in. Like, don't unload it. Right, right. Um, but even when I've left it in and cut it again, it can sometimes be off. And it's just not, for me, not. I wish I remember what setting I put it on. I can't remember. You're fine. You're good. Stuff like that. Should Through click that all down. material. Let's just look under all the cardstock options just so we can um, look at it. So we've got flat, we got corrugated, we've got craft cardstock. Um, look up cardstock. thick. See what thick comes up. Let's Maybe that's see. what I did. There's nothing under nothing thick. thick. Um, so adhesive back cardstock, holographic cardstock, glitter cardstock, craft cardstock, hmm, patterned glitter cardstock. I love that. Um, uh, let's try, hmm, <laughs> um, wonder what's under chipboard. Well, if I could spell it. So light chipboard, I think that is something we can test. But it wants a knife blade, doesn't it? No. Fine point? Yeah. Okay, yeah, mm. got it. Maybe that's we'll test it. This will be a fun little test. 110 pound cardstock with the light chipboard setting. Um, this will just be a little, a little, a little test. Don't know why there's no heavy cardstock setting. That's odd. I feel no like there worries. should be a yeah. heavy. There's a lot and a medium. And people, like, if you, my thing is, if you're using a card base, if you're a card maker, you want to use 110 pound cardstock, at least for your card base, because you want to have that sturdy card, in my opinion. A lot of people will debate 80 versus 110. I wouldn't go anything above 110, I don't think. Um, just because that would get a little obsessive with your thickness. Um, but And Miss Loretta had a good idea. Hey, she said uh, she uses the setting for cereal board, like a cereal Ooh, box, I love for 110-pound cardstock. Good. Okay. Well, good we're getting around, a whole Loretta. list of different materials. And I was reading in a Facebook group about Cricut changing a lot of the settings recently. So maybe that has something to do with it because um, the pressure settings are different. But we're just cutting away right over here. If we have any first time visitors, be sure to share with us and say, hey, we would love to hear from you. So let us know so we can welcome you into our crafting community. I'm so excited for all of our new friends that have been joining us over the past um, few weeks and months. So be sure to um, let us you know, know what you've got going on. And it looks like it's cutting a second time, which I appreciate. So okay, fingers crossed. Do two, two cuts, um, so yeah. It'll be a lot of fun. Tanner, what kind of coffee are you drinking? Tell I everybody have... what kind of what kind you get. Okay. Well, Rachel, I'm glad you. I'm really glad somebody asked me are about this. Are you? Okay. Um, one of my favorite baristas that always gives me a hard time when I come in after um, my workout, and when I come in and I'm not in workout clothes, she like asks why I didn't go, which I love the accountability. Right. But right. I ordered my drink, and she rang it was to ring it up, and it was cheaper. So I thought, oh, maybe she's giving me a deal. Like maybe she's not gonna charge me because for cold brew, it's more expensive. So, but I didn't want to ask her for clarification because I normally, 
I go between just a caramel iced coffee um, with cream. At a regular Starbucks, I wouldn't have to ask for light cream, but at my Some Starbucks. Some of them are heavy handed. <laughs> Some of them, our Starbucks is not a real Starbucks, so they train people a lot different, I think. Um, so I had to ask for, start asking for a lot. Um, so anyway, I wanted a cold brew. I ordered a cold brew and I got just a regular iced coffee with caramel. Pretty boring, but anywho. I, I should oh, have but just, you ordered the cold brew? I ordered the cold brew. I paid for iced coffee and I got iced coffee. Oh, <laughs> It's well. no big deal. Um, what do you drink, Rachel? You're into... Um, I don't really drink much. Okay, uh, for, thank God. Like, well, yeah, yeah I'm not <laughs> much of a drinker. No, but, <laughs> Um, Tanner got me to try that frappe thing, Ooh. So, but those are um, a bit heavy on them calories, if I say so. Are myself. they though? Just a little are bit. They though? They're rough. No. So no. whenever now and again is good, but they're delish. But what is what, it? The what's your Christmas drink Java that you're? Chip? Oh, your peppermint. Something oh, I like. love the peppermint mochas. Those are good, yeah. and I love the white chocolate mochas. I don't much love the ice. What is it? What? Ice macchiato. Oh, Blake's giving me a thumbs up. I thought he was like, something was happening to him. But he was just thumbs up with me to the white chocolate mocha, I think. <laughs> yeah, those are delicious. I love those. My mom used to drink those all the time. Okay, okay. Love those. I'm very intrigued with people and their coffee. Ooh, oh. and I'm a basic white girl sometimes. Oh, are I you? Like, I like the pumpkin. Oh, Rachel um, loves her fall drink. Yes, I do. I do. I love those. Now, oh. they got to be done right. Like, I'm not going to go to McDonald's and get one because those are literally. Wow. They're orange, like the Ooh. color orange. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's a little rough. But wow. what's it called? Pumpkin spice pumpkin latte. Pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, those are good. Um, I had a debate that I wanted to have right now, but I've been so focused on peeling these off, I lost my what I was going to debate with you about. Oh. Um, and I was really excited for it. Oh, dang it. So, were, was it about coffee? Yeah, it, I think oh, so. I have no idea. Like cold coffee and it. hot coffee, or was Maybe. it Maybe. Like I was cold it was probably just me... My favorite thing it. ever that I used to get when we had a different studio tanner, if you can remember, I used to absolutely love the iced coffee mm -hmm. with the vanilla. Mm -hmm. it, it was black coffee, but they mm -hmm. just put like syrup in it, like they were like a coffee shop. Yeah. I got that all the time. That was really, really oh, good. From Java. Java. Yes. yes the yes. iced coffee. Rachel, with you're gonna appreciate this. My crafty late my crafty friends will appreciate it too. Um, guys, so you know vacation, you you kind of splurge. You kind of treat yourself right. to some food. You totally should. Um, which you, th you should, totally. So I've treated myself on vacation to quite a bit of food. Um, and what I'm going to do right now, I've got my little letters laid out, but now I'm just going to cut a little, little bit more than a four inch piece of the fabric to put it into the embroidery hoop as we just chat. So anywho, um, what I've got going is I went on the scale when I got home, like any normal person should that, you know, Want to make sure they're not going too excessive. After vacay? After vacay. Oh, that's a bad idea. I got on bad the scale. choice. <laughs> okay. So I got home Saturday night and got on the scale. Oh, let me tell you, what'd you do? Lose weight or something? Oh, no. This is oh. what the rant is. Oh, okay. I have not been eating since I've been home. Like, I've been eating, but like not eating. eating. Not, yeah, not a ton. Still weighed the same amount this morning. It is Tuesday. This is, this is not good for me. Um, so Maybe you I'm just need to, to give your that. body, you know, some. Listen, I didn't go to the gym this morning. I, I was up. Okay, I took a nap yesterday. Good. <laughs> Big mistake. I was up, I think, until like 2 a.m. It was, I'm never up late, um, which in turn made me um, not be able to go to the gym because I was sleeping in this morning. But anyway, I just totally told a story through this whole process. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through this because you're like, Tanner, you're making the project and not talking to me. Um, so anyway, you've got your fabric, got your embroidery hoop. Like I said, we're going to make two today because we're fancy. Um, all you need to do is cut you a piece of fabric. And this would be a great project if you can find this in like one of those small packages. Um, this will be plenty. Like you only need, you know, like a, honestly like a five inch, six inch square. Um, and then because we're going to trim the excess. So you take your piece, you put it in here. And, and pop um, this in. Fatima wants to know, could, hey. you, could you cut the fabric with the Cricut too? You could very well cut the fabric if you're going to. Um, this is, again, a four-inch embroidery hoop. I would probably make it, again, like a 
five inch. Yeah. Um, the problem is whether you have inch. the Cricut cut it, which is more work than cutting it yourself. It, on this project, yeah. you'll still have to cut around the edges and trim off yeah. the excess. So it really but doesn't. But if it was yeah. like some people kind of would go for the look. If it was a circle and there was a little fraying on the back, that would be fine. So like you may be totally okay with a little if it was a perfect circle and it was at six inches because you know some of that kind of looks trendy sure, and you if do you're doing you, a little farmhousey, you know? sure. um, that would be a great look. So you can kind of decide if you want the Cricut to cut it. Um, the rotary blade would be able to cut all your fabrics. It does a great job. So okay, we just pop those in. Like this is, I mean, it's pretty easy. What I'm going to do real quick is I made sure to tighten these back up because um, we want to keep those taut um, just so it keeps it in there. And then what we're going to do is just take our scissors and just trim the edges away. Has anyone made any comments about what kind of coffee they like, Rachel? No, and <sighs> what I wanted to ask too was, is... has anybody tried that tie-dye thing from oh, Starbucks? Oh, Blake, did you get your tie-dye wrap? No. You didn't try a tie-dye wrap? Did you? No, I was in, <laughs> I didn't the whole country I was in didn't Starbucks. even have no tie-dye. It's not still available. It's limited edition. Like it's everything like else. Quantity, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember when we were in Salt Lake and they had <gasps> What was the, it? The uh, unicorn from yeah. unicorn. Uh, Blake wasn't Literally. even in Salt Lake, but he knew what Everybody it was. Everybody was at that Starbucks. The, the last big, like, no, there was a different one last year. The pink drink, but like, uh, well, what was but like the pink the drink? Was the frap, the yeah, the unicorn frap. Yeah. Let me tell did you. Did we get all we did were you trying try to the do? Unicorn no. Frap? All we were trying to do was get our coffee and get out of there, and everybody, everybody, would get their drink, then just stop right where they were, listen, right in everybody's way, Rachel. and take 800 pictures. And I'm like, listen, listen. <laughs> that listen. Starbucks is memories for me. I remember the day the Cricut Maker launched with me working with Cricut. Um, I, had, I had the machine a few weeks early. But that day, I went and uploaded all the video content that we had made for the Cricut Maker launch. Like, it was right before Sheesh was going on stage, mm. and we had like six videos. I remember sitting in that Starbucks, uploading these videos, making the thumbnails, and I was like, poop, I'm under NDA. I pray no one looks at my computer screen as I'm making these thumbnails. That no one did. I was sitting in a corner. I was pretty, pretty scared. Um, like, oh, yeah. Nervous Bless about your it. Heart. But um, then we uploaded the videos, and then while Ashish sat there, we were able to publish the videos um, during the announcement conference that we were at, and it was so much fun. So, love it. Um, guys, our Infusible Ink content, me and Rachel had a meeting yesterday, and we're going to make some really awesome Infusible Ink videos. Yeah, we spent like $300 on Amazon. <laughs> we spent a lot of money because we're going to compare a lot of things for you. But look at how adorable these are. That's and cute. We and I have to mute my mic because I don't have a mobile mic over here, but I'm going to get you a tool that's really going to help you, okay? <gasps> Thank you. And while you do that, I'm going to fix my um, letter boards because I realize they are totally crooked. So, it would be helpful if the fabric was going in the right way, wouldn't it? So I'm going to move it this way. Thanks, Rach. Ooh, got my Cricut tweezers. So anyway, this makes a lot more sense if we're making a letterboard-inspired project. Doesn't that make sense, guys? Don't know, even know if you could tell, but when you start talking too much. And you can always redo it after you get the letters on there, too, if it's just a little yeah. askew, you know. Yeah. So it's not something super permanent. But yes, that Starbucks has lots of memories for me. Um, if you're ever in downtown Salt Lake, the Starbucks closest to the, um, ooh, the Little America, Little America, the Grand America, something like that. I've stayed at both of the hotels. Anywho, popping this in. But yes, how's everyone doing in the comments? The um, Summer Summit is coming up very quickly. I've seen lots of people grabbing their tickets yesterday. So if you are not already grabbed a ticket, Go and grab that ticket, boo, because you do not want to miss out on a two-day crafting event, all virtual, and it's the, going to be so much fun. So it's, please, it's like head two on over. weekends away. Um, it's one weekend away. Like it's the next. It's weekend. the next one. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. 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 So yes, me and Rachel, bless it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each letter, um, and I kind of like when I'm doing like um, a word like joy. You start, start in the start, middle. For start sure. in the middle. Yes, you want to start in the middle. Um, so we're using just a pair of tweezers to hold it because we're going to use hot glue today. Um, we're using that for the fabric. You can use any type of fabric glue, but just a little bit of hot glue will go a long way. And I wish I had my little more intricate hot glue gun, but it's okay. I don't and uh, people are asking, like, and I feel like this is a personal question to me because I 
kind of, you know, I made this project first. Ooh, go for and it. they're wondering why I didn't use iron on. And if you look at any other letter board, the letters are higher. Like they're raised up, they're individual. Like you, yeah. you make your letter board however you want it. You can change your letter board. I wanted them to be a different dimension. And, and with this it being does make a, It does make an impact. It does. To, like for it to pop and it to be thicker. And like if you could even use. Was, um, if you ironed on that corduroy, it would, you'd see like grooves in all the places yeah. that that corduroy is because corduroy is like, you know, bumpy. Yeah, Hold it to the side. You could really see it to the side. If you held it, Tell you me. could see that corduroy pretty good. Can you, can you? Trying to see what type of lot hit yeah, it. Yeah, you can kind of see that corduroy. Yeah, cool. if you look super close. But yeah. But so anyway, yeah. This is why, and, and cardstock is cheap. Like, you can this cardstock is really cheap. Who doesn't have cardstock? But you could also, like I said, you could use the leftover HTV. This would be a great HTV project. Like I said, this is just kind of like an, an inspired letter board, like a mini one, a little ornament. So you can kind of kind of play with it however you would like. Um, I'm just moving my. J around. Look at that. You can give some pressure on the back if you need to make sure it's down. Anything like that. And then grab our Y. So they're talking about HSN having a really good deal on makers right now? Oh, they do, guys. There's lots of deals to be had. There's lots of deals to be had. Um, we did not vote to, to promote any deals this year just because... Well, or this event, because I mean, HSN's got deals, Walmart's got deals. There's a deal all around the corner. Everybody's got deals. Everybody's got deals. We got deals. Um, everybody can get a deal. But yes, me coming back from vacation, we just didn't have time to prep. We're we're too busy getting crafty for Christmas. I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready for fall. Oh, I love no, fall. The pumpkin patches. Fall's and all the my goodness. favorite. I like decorating for Christmas, but I think fall is my favorite time of I year. I agree. The weather. We never do enough in the fall, though. I always feel like we... But I think it's just because we enjoy being outside so much. That's true. Like, That's you, true. I just like going outside and just feeling the weather. Like, I just appreciate, like, walking to Walmart with the weather. Because that's all we do. Go to Walmart. You need to make a calendar. Oh, Rachel needs her a fall calendar again. Remember, Rachel? Last year, we oh, had guys. a fall festivity oh. calendar. And it was amazing. I worked around Blake's schedule. hundred schedules. Tanner's schedule. I found days. I squeezed days. We squeezed days out. out, and that was so much fun. But I realized last night, my our friend Kendall, who has been on live streams with me before, she called me at eight o'clock because she was just getting off work, and she's supposed to get off at like five. Um, everybody with like real people jobs now, it's hard. Real like, people jobs. Well, I mean, Kendall was like definitely didn't have a real people job, but now she does, and she has to like work late. It's just sad. Well, Kendall's working her butt off, too. She's she got, like, is. two jobs. She is. Not because they need the money. It's just, <laughs> just because, because she's, they... like, a workhorse. Like yeah, she's she won't quit built to job. work. She doesn't have yeah. to. She just wants to. Yeah, and her she husband does. works, like, really long shifts and, like, works seven days on, seven days off, which is pretty hard. Um, so, anywho. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Half of me, I feels like I would, like, if I was working that type of job, love seven on, seven off. Rachel, you want to start? <laughs> and, oh, gosh. <laughs> And then I'd be on call. <laughs> and so well, nice. one of James, James's aunts, she's on like four on, three off. And oh, it that's kinda, cool. I think that's a cool little schedule. It helps oh, her yeah. be able to come to town because she lives in Missouri. So she, oh, they drive up a home. lot. It's like 14 hours away, like a 14-hour yeah. drive. God love right. them. But. Yeah, we're just, this is such a, like, honestly, like, I'm enjoying this so much. But I think you guys will really enjoy making these. As and well. I got my hoops at Hobby Lobby too. Oh, uh, one forty nine, guys! Yeah. You cannot beat it. Yeah. And for those of you like kind of, we have a lot of people on the fence. Like, well, how do I make them even? How do I make sure that they're when when you're working I'm rolling with things with it. that are three and four letters? I'm literally rolling with it. Like piece, the one that I had piece up there. That's a little bit. That was a little trickier, I guess. But you don't have to put washi tape in a straight line to make sure they're so, straight. I mean, this is the type of project where you're on the corduroy. It helps you know it's straight, and you're working with two and three letters. And here's the thing. So, like, let's say, for example, I do not mean to call you out on this at all, Rachel, so do, please do not take offense. I'm just oh, for everyone. No, no, no. I'm worried. No. Say you feel like it's too far over to the right. You can easily pop this out 
and move it over. Scoot it, yeah. So Rachel makes an amazing point. Just line it up all on the same line. And then where this is temporary and it's not glued in, you can just pop it in, pop it out. Yeah. You can be that perfectionist. And so always start in the middle. That. So you do start the E and the, the A first. So the A would be first. And yeah. then you do your two letters to the left, two letters to the right. Mm, yeah. Noel would debatably be potentially harder because there isn't really a middle with right. over four letter right. words. So anywho, um, but yeah, so like don't get too, you know, overwhelmed. Don't overthink it. No. You know, this is just a little Christmas project. No. The earlier you start, like, July, July, you know, the less stressed you'll be and mm -hmm. the more you can enjoy mm -hmm. it when it gets here. And for guys, if you're just tuning in, this is the Towering Teddy Font exclusive only to year members at Makers Gonna Learn. Um, if there's anyone here that's brand new and has no idea what Makers Gonna Learn is or what we do here, leave us a comment and let us know because we'd love to have you um, and give you all the info on it because we absolutely love what we're able to do for our members. Um, so see, this L is like up way too high, so I'm just go cluck it up. And that's fine. And listen, guys, easy. if you rip it, you can just recut it. Like, it's not a big problem. Yeah, this you know? is not a, like a heavy hitter cost either, so that's nice. So anywho, pull in some strings away, and you can kind of get those strings off and just line it up here. And there you go. So, ta-da! Rachel, do you want to come over and teach us how to make some bows? I would love to. i got to turn my mic off, though. I don't have Okay, a... come on over. But No worries. Sorry. No worries. Um, but yes, how are our comments? What has everyone got going on? I'm so excited. Rachel's going to step in, and I'm going to verbally talk through making these bows. And then um, I'm going to read some comments while Rachel is going to show us I all the bows. Oh, it's so easy. I love yes, bows. I love it. Um, no worries. Sorry. Ooh, no worries. I need to turn the audio off. Hi. But yes, okay. how Love it's it. A little audio test for us. That's good. Yes. Alicia's just joining in. Hello, Alicia. How are you, dear? Good morning. A little earlier today, Terry. Yes, it is. So, okay, we're Rach. trying to talk loud. So talk loud. Can hear me. We're, Everybody close. Can hear me. we're close. So, we just have a little piece of uh, string here of mm -hmm. ribbon. Mm -hmm. So, you're just going to start here. You don't even have to cut the end or anything like that. Ooh. And you're just going to make a loop just like that. Easy peasy. One you're loop. Can, one loop, okay? You're going to come right next to it. And you're just going to make another loop to match it. It doesn't have to match perfectly. See right here, it doesn't have to look great. You just make your little loop here. So you've got two loops here. And all you do is literally, you're going to fold them over each other. So like you've got your two loops here. Make sure they're even. you got your loopy loops even. And Courtney taught this, you know, in that live. So you got these. You're literally just going to fold them right here, okay? You're going to put one underneath and put it just through the hole. Just like that. Just like you're tying a shoe. And then go ahead and pull this. And it looks a little rough. It looks a little rough. So you're just going to go ahead and work with it. Okay, you're going to pull one side in here. Okay, you're going to keep working with it. Tighten this guy up. Pull in one side. Pull in this side. And we're just really starting to take shape here, making a little bow, a cute little bow. I love it. Yeah, so, so cute. So once you kind of get it the way you want to, as, as big as you want to, as small as you want to, you know, get it exactly how you want it, you're just going to take your scissors and cut off, you know, cut off wow. the excess on the bottom there and look at your little bow. Love the little Easy bow. Easy peasy. Easy Aww. peasy. And guys, if you have a Joann's fabric, I think they will definitely have the hookup for this fabric for you guys. So if you're worried about like where to go for the fabric, because like Hobby Lobby for us does not have it, um, Joann's will have it. Yeah, and I, we got ours off Amazon. But Easy. I, I, yeah, but I wish you could see it in person to really see that quarter weight. Uh, yeah, like it, it definitely about. makes the project, especially for the mini letter board, which is so trendy. Um, so we love it. And it's just a lot, a lot of fun. And again, I mean, you can just see the little um, cardstock like really coming together here. Doo -doo -doo. But yes, lots and lots of fun. We will go over um, materials one last time. And for anyone just tuning in, like we are um, a digital die cutting community. We have over three thousand amazing members that we help inspire and teach you guys how to master your die cutting machine. And every single month you get amazing new um, digital cut files and all kinds of greatness. So be sure to check out that first link down below if you're brand new and you would be wanting to consider membership. We honestly believe everyone that has a die cutting machine will find value in our membership. So It doesn't matter if you've had your die cutting machine for two years or you just got it yesterday. You know, you will absolutely exactly. love our membership and everything we have to exactly. offer. Exactly. And this font right here is from our yearly membership tier. So you have to be a yearly member to get access to our fonts. And there's hundreds of dollars of extras 
when you say yes to yearly. So you get access to the fonts, which are honestly priceless, um, the commercial license, priceless, and then you get the three courses. And if you bought those separate, it would be practically the price of the membership. So just keep that in mind when you're debating which membership tier to go with. And then what we're going to do, guys, is we're just going to be able to add our little bows to And what I did right first, here. just telling you, I got some uh, ribbon first mm -hmm. and cut the ribbon and hot glued it on there first and then okay. hot glued the ribbon over it. Cool deal. If that cool makes deal. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would take like a little um, piece, kind of like this. Exactly. Yeah. And I hot glued it like that first. Yep. Mm -hmm. Love it, love and it, And which font? I'm going to type the font again. Yes, Towering Teddy is a great, great font, guys. We love it. And you need these basic fonts to go with our hand-lettered scripty fonts. Um, and like I said, we have classes teaching you guys how to um, master both of those. So, super fun. And we're just going to be able to glue it right here. And that little glob is going to be perfect. So you can lay one piece down. Give another extra little piece. And then if you have any hot glue gun strings like I do right now, um, you're going to be able to take a hair dryer and you can also just pull them away. I don't even know if you can see it. But oh yes. no, you can't see it over here, oh, but you not? when oh. you get up close well, to you, it. If you have one, it's no big deal. So then you can now take your little bow and add it right here. And it covers up that, I it don't want to call it up. ugly, but it is ugly. Oh, it covers sure. up that ugly little hook there. For sure. But we're not into the hook. Um, so now you have your adorable little ornament. We can just repeat that same process to the second one. So guys, it's going to be so much fun getting crafty for this holiday season, especially getting started in July. just gives me so much excitement. The earlier the better. And if you have the hot glue gun do this like spinning motion, your strings will like disappear in no time. It's a little craft hack. I think Martha Stewart taught it first, but I think everyone teaches it now. And a little, little bow. I want to make Tanner try a bow. I don't know, man. I bet he could. I could. I could. It just it's a little out of the, the ordinary. It took me two seconds to make that I know. bow. Rachel's a pro. Rachel's a pro. And then you can, like, if you have uneven edges, you can you can do a little, do a little that. I was a card maker. I don't know how to make my bows. Ooh, I just totally stuck my finger in some hot glue. That was fun. Need to be more careful. Sorry, guys. It happens to everyone. Like just Making those uh, wreaths on the uh, summits, guys, My, I just didn't even have... Um, you just gave up? I, no, I didn't even have fingerprints. <laughs> like, I got so much hot glue oh my gosh. all over myself. But look, look at all of these adorable little ornaments. Guys, you are going to have so much fun making these for this holiday season. Seriously, what an easy little project for the Tom. Um, look at this little set. You're going to be able to make this. You're going to be able to sell it. You're going to be able to have a whole little set to be some really great um, pieces on your tree, which is really awesome, and we absolutely love it. Those scissors scare me. I love my scissors. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. So what questions do we have, Rachel? What uh, they questions? wanted to know the font. We told yes. them the font. They seem to be pretty happy, though. Yay! They're happy. They wanted to know about the corduroy. We gave yes. them all the tips we could about getting yes. that corduroy. It's going to be really a lot of fun, and it's going to be awesome. So definitely, guys, take full advantage and make this project today. Share your pictures in the Facebook group. It took us less than an hour, start to finish, using the Cricut and everything. Um, and what we love about our membership is you get instant access. So if you're not already a member, you can go join today and get instant access to our printable guide. You get access to all the fonts. You get access to the cut files. And then every single month, we are releasing new ones. So we just had a collection launch yesterday. Check out yesterday's video if you haven't already, because you can see all kinds of inspiration. And what we love about our membership is that you get a ton of files and a ton of inspiration and motivation to use your die cutting machine. We not only just give you art, but we give you the education, video trainings. We come here every single day and have a lot of fun getting crafty with you guys. If you're a member, thank you so much for being a member because we love it. We love inspiring you guys to get your machine out of the box, make your projects, or Wipe the dust off of it and get crafty. And that's what we're here for. We're here to help motivate you guys to be awesome crafters. And the thing is, if you have invested in a machine, that is an investment. 
you need someone like us to be here, to be your cheerleader and to push you to make more amazing projects and give you everything you need from the how-to to the art to the fonts and everything. So we love it. So are there any questions, Rachel? Everyone seems to be happy that um, we have Miss... Where'd she go? Loretta saying, have a good afternoon with Blake. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, Sarah, good morning. Late watching today. No worries. You can watch the recorded um, to learn the full how-to. You can grab the links in the comments um, if you need to pick up um, a ticket to our Summer Summit, which is an amazing, going to be an amazing time. If you're brand new or if you just ripping out of the loop, it's a two-day craft event happening on, on not this Saturday, but next Saturday. It is a virtual craft event. For the cost of a hotel stay, you can get a ticket, and we have a special coupon code for $30 off. Use SUMMER2 at checkout so that you're able to save $30 and you're able to come to our two-day virtual craft event. We have 10 classes. We have Leah Griffith teaching. We have um, Alexandria from Hedgehog Hollow. We have Jen from Something Turquoise. You have the Makers Gonna Learn team. We have so many amazing projects. Carly Hall. Yes, Carly Hall um, from Carly Hall Crafts. Um, you can check her out. She is amazing. She has a whole class on infusible ink and it is perfect. Um, and we absolutely love her. So everything that we have been you know, needing and we've been seeing a need for is being taught at the summit. So it is two full days. Um, it's five classes each day. You get lifetime access to these classes and you get a supply list so that you're able to see what classes um, you need, what supplies so that you can craft right along with us. It's a perfect event for you guys to say, hey, I need to take some time to myself um, and craft with us live. Or you're able to um, watch the recorded classes later for like less than $10 a class. So um, it's an amazing value and it's a lot, a lot of fun. So any questions? It looks like know. everybody's good. You're making people want to go get Starbucks. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I um, also recommend the water. It's very purified there. Tanner loves the water. He gets the Trenta, the biggest one they have. I love it. I love it. How much is the yearly membership? Tammy wants to know. That is a great question, Tammy. It is $191.88, I believe, something like that. And you're able to save $48 a year saying yes to being a yearly member versus being a monthly member for a year. And if you guys did not see all the things you get with that year membership uh, compared to being that monthly member, it is amazing. So you're gonna save $48, which equates to three months. Um, and you get all these perks compared to monthly or six month. You pay the least amount of money and get the most amount of perks. We hold nothing back from our yearly nope. members. Nope, 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 we love it. Um, we have lots of fun stuff coming up. I've already seen people marking their calendar. Um, for our big launch on the 25th. I cannot wait to knock that out and have a lot of fun. We have new files every single month. I mean, there's so much value that our members get and we only um, are going to be offering even more. So this year membership tier is our best tier, best value. You do not want to miss out on it. Um, and we cannot wait to share with you guys everything else we have going on but it is going to be a lot of fun. So be sure to go get registered for whatever you need. I cannot wait to see all of you at the Summer Summit. I cannot wait to see all of you um, getting crafty with us there, as well as having a lot of fun on our launch event. And it's Christmas in July week, so I cannot be, it's not, it's, I couldn't find a better week for me to come back to. So cannot wait to get crafty tomorrow on another awesome Christmas project. Any last minute questions? Nope, we're good. Awesome, thank you guys. Have a great one, bye.